Prisons today are the leper colony of American life. When I got out of prison, there were 239,000 people in prison. Today, there are 2.3 million people in prison. The horror of prison, which I discovered personally, is not so much the bars and the, and the concertina wire and all the stuff that goes with it. It's not even the violence. It's not the depravity. It's the helplessness and loneliness. You sit in that prison cell and you're staring at that wall. You've been forgotten. And for the average inmate, I mean, I was unusual. I had a family and I could get out and get a job. The average inmate who's in there for a number of years usually, commonly has lost his family. 80% uh, break up when the person's in prison. He is rejected by his friends, except the gang that he might have hung around with, which is why so many get out of prison and go back into that gang. That's the only relationship they have. He's sitting in that cell utterly hopeless. Uh, the best he can think about is that maybe someday I'll get out of here and maybe I'll be lucky enough to be among the 40 or 50 percent who make it when they get out. But his odds are against him. So you imagine waking up every morning with nothing and separated from the world and feeling totally isolated in a, the most loveless environment imaginable. It's, a, it's, a, it's an, a corrosion that takes place in the soul. It's really destroying the very inner being of the person. And the reason we've discovered in the prisons, work that we've done over these last 35 years, we have discovered that they may want to make it, but when the guard says goodbye to them at the front gate, gives them a bus ticket home, maybe a hundred dollar bill or check, and says, see you in two weeks, that's what really does happen because that person gets off the bus stop, there's the old gang, there's the pimps, there are the people peddling dope, and he sucks, gets sucked right back into that culture. He's got nothing else he can do with his life at that point.